and welcome back to my channel so today I have this I don't know what to call this yet but I think this is pretty much like my current go-to makeup look um, it's something that's really easy and it's wearable I didn't want to do anything dramatic for my first video because um, I'm more into wearable glam so I wanted to do something wearable for my channel this is something that I would probably wear on a date or to go to my boyfriend's like house when he has like family parties or a family party here at my house or I just actually wore this look to my best friend's birthday party so I'm just gonna get right into the video I don't want to talk too much so I hope you guys enjoy this look and yeah okay so I already have moisturizer on my face I use the CeraVe I think it's called the daily moisturizer or something like that but um, for primer I'm gonna use this Kiss New York Professional Pro Touch Smoothing Primer I've never used this before um, I've had it for a while but it's my first time using it so we'll see next I'm gonna use the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer um, this is like one of their newer products. It's in stores now. It came out in stores in January So you guys can go ahead and go pick one up for yourself This one's in the color medium brown. I usually use soft brown, but I can't find it. So Medium brown will have to do and I'm just gonna go like through my brows kind of quick I'm not gonna explain too much of what I'm doing because um, I'll probably just do a more in-depth tutorial later on in my YouTube channel life, I guess. I don't know how to say that. Okay, so don't mind this eyebrow, especially looking a little crazy right now. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline concealer. The This is the Master Conceal. Yeah, and the color is 10 Fair. I'm gonna use this to clean up under my brows. And for that, I'm gonna use this Sigma brush, the E56, Sigma E56. Okay, and then to carve out the top of the brow, I'm gonna take some of my foundation and just clean up on top. And this is just a brush from, I think, TJ Maxx, which I'm pretty sure they don't sell them anymore. I just like to buy random brushes, and this one works for me. So this is what I use to clean up the top. Brows are done. So I'm gonna take just like a little bit of concealer that I had left over and put that on my eyelid. And I'm gonna set that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which mine is pretty much done. And this Real Techniques setting brush. And this is just to make um, your eyeshadows blend a lot easier. I've tried like not setting primer before, but that doesn't work for me. Works for some people, for me it doesn't. Make sure that there's no creases when you set the concealer though. Don't set a crease because then that's just gonna be a mess. Okay, now that my eyes are primed, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place for this look. So, first color I'm gonna go in with is this orange shade that's upside down. This is what it looks like on the inside, and the first color I'm gonna go in with is this orangey shade. And I'm taking that on this like little round fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this as my transition shade for the rest of my eyeshadows. And then I'm taking the Morphe E27 and then just blending all of this out because we do not want any harsh lines. Next, I'm taking the Morphe M433 
And I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is more of like a chocolatey brown color. And for this, I just like literally tap that color right there and blend. To blend this out like really good, I'm gonna take like a small, a little small fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna really blend this out. Okay, and then those are literally the only two shades we're using in the crease. We're not using any other colors. For the lid color, I'm going to take this like rose gold pinkish color and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So first I'm going to pick up the color on my brush. And um, this is a brush I got from school, which I don't think they sell them to everyone. So, sorry. And I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus so that it's super duper metallic-y, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Whenever I put a shimmer on my eyelid, I like to like kind of look forward like this where so I can see like where my fold is that in my eyelid. Let me zoom you guys in before I'm so far away. This is super close. Whatever. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here where this little fold is at, I always bring my shimmer slightly over that. I always bring it slightly over because if I were to put it right here, like right underneath the fold, whenever I open and close my eye, it'll just transfer, but it'll look more messy. Like this, at least it looks kind of put together, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to take the Morphe M433, the one that you apply the, the chocolate brown shade with, and just going to blend this outer edge out a little bit more. And the main reason I always do my eye makeup first is because I always get fallout right here, so I like to clean it up once I'm done with my eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the Neutrogena makeup remover and some Q-tips. And I always bring it up like this because I like to give my eye like that kind of winged out shape without even having a winged liner on. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara ever. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. For lashes, I'm gonna use Crave Lashes. It's a kind of newish lash brand. Um, these are in the style Cream Puff. I feel like these look really natural and wispy and just perfect for this look. And I'm gonna use the Duo Lash Glue to um, stick those on. Okay, so my lashes are on. This is what they look like. And now I'm gonna move on to skin. I'm gonna use I'm like shaking it. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. It's the 24 hour foundation, which is currently my favorite. I love wearing this foundation. And I have a little metal palette here and I'm just gonna squirt some onto here. Oh, by the way, this is the shade 120. So I dip my beauty blender into the foundation and then I go ahead and put it on the rest of my face. I 
I love this foundation because it covers all of my redness and all my imperfections. It's just so bomb. And the best part, it's only 11 bucks. Make sure you take it down your neck, always. Don't ever forget to do that. So this half of my face is done. Do you guys see the difference this makes? Like, look how red this side is. It just, Okay, so next I'm gonna take the Master Conceal Concealer again by Maybelline, but this one's in the color 20 Light. With a concealer brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that under my eyes. I also take it up onto the sides of my nose. Right here, around my nose. And down the bridge of my nose, of course. With, and then with my damp beauty blender, I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of this out. And for th these areas, like where my cheeks are at, where it's a lot more pink. I do not, um, I guess, I don't know how you say it, but like pounce the beauty blender as hard. The reason I do a lighter pounce on this area of the face is because I want there to be more product there, if that makes sense. Like I want it to be more full, more full coverage there because my cheeks are super pink there. So I do not want my pink coming through. Same goes for if you're trying to like cover a pimple. That's how you would do it. You would just use a lighter touch. And I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just gonna make sure that everything is nice and blended. Make sure there is no creases anywhere. And then dipping straight into the powder and I'm just gonna set my under eyes. I press the powder into my under eye. And into my laugh lines because I don't want my makeup to crease there. And around my nose. I kind of like push the powder into the skin. And anywhere I usually like get too shiny, that's where like I like to push the powder into the skin, which is like right here on the apples of my cheeks. Then I know there's barely any of this powder left. It's the the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and get as much as I can, and just apply this to the rest of my face. It's a little bit of powder though. It's not a lot, honestly. And as I do that, I pretty much just go ahead and dust off the excess Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to take this e.l.f. blush brush to get into here and brush that away. I'm like pressing the powder into the skin pretty much. That's mainly what I do. You want to press the powder in. It will give you a way more flawless finish. Okay, and then next I'm gonna bronze my face. I'm using the Hula bronzer for this and this brush is by a brand called Sarah Artistry um, That's all it says, but this is pretty much what the brush looks like See how it is? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze my face And then a little bit, whatever's left, I just run that quickly along the jawline and down the neck a little bit. I don't mind the 
dog barking. Okay, and then for my nose contour, this is my favorite nose contour shade. This is by a brand called Rodeo, Rodeo. And the color, it just says Instagram Compact Deluxe Contouring Powder number three. And I take that, I like to contour my nose with this brush. It's um, by Mikasa, Mikasa Beauty. And the brush is, I believe it's E230. The name's a little rubbed off, so can't really tell. But I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my nose really quick. Moving on to highlight. Today I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the Molten Rose Gold shade. And I'm gonna use a highlight and glow brush from Royal Lang, Royal and Lang Nickel. I think I pronounced that right. Highlight the nose, I take like a smaller shader brush. And with a pencil brush, I'm gonna take the highlighter and highlight my brow bone. Okay, so I'm gonna take this shade on the end. It's called Cash, I believe, and I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheeks and blending it into my contour and my highlight because I do not like my highlight to look like a stripe and harsh and this kind of just blends it for you and I also take it right here a little bit on my forehead and my chin and my nose Okay, and then finally gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna take this like little shader brush. We're gonna go in with the very first shade we, we used, which was the orangey shade, and I'm just gonna apply that on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a Sigma E15, which is just a flat definer brush. And with this brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take that color the chocolatey brown shade and I'm going to apply that super close to my lash line. Going back into the Maybelline highlighter and this pencil brush, I'm just going to apply this to the inner corners. Now I'm just gonna spray my whole face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Okie dokie. So once the Fix Plus has dried and all that, I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with some clear brow gel. I apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. The NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Soft Spoken. Don't mind my mustache, by the way. I have not removed it, so don't judge me. Please. I'm gonna top it off with this lip gloss by I Love Sarai and ColourPop. This is in the color Atole. If you wanted to make this more like nighttime appropriate, all you would have to do is add black liner to the waterline and smoke it out and you'd be ready to go out at night. You just look super popping. I actually forgot to do that. I'm gonna apply it really quick onto my um, upper waterline. I think that's what it's called. I like doing this so that you don't see like that gap of skin between your lash and your actual eyeball. I 
I just added the black and I'm going to go ahead and smudge it with this definer brush. Like that. Yeah, do you see how just adding the black makes it smoky and I feel like it just looks more, you know, party, nighttime-ish. You know, like more seductive, I guess. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial since I'm... Since I've been back, it was fun to film. And let me know what you guys would like to see next on my channel. Um, yeah, just make sure you leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.